we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. What? It's breaking up. Back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Lucky? Hmm, I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. Tell you about this place. 
It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission, the biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here, first to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. In our base, as you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that... And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cole, he knows what leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to that. see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. Pop in any time you feel like chatting. <laughs> Some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. 
everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. We're having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro at that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. We're Your under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! Of of That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Great. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Trader, a fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment you need for the mission. Roger that. Visitor, I'll be right there. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Stalker, what do you want?
for the tower. The monsters can't get you there. You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point that our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Vive, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that the recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. 
the more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the Scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the Brain Scorcher. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zones will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. You're right. But we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us, and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a Kony movie, but you really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in this zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kodan was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Through the swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it.
I help to you? see you, young man. You look considerably better. You already have a basic understanding of some things, while others will necessitate a more detailed explanation. The inexplicable fact is that twice you were affected by emissions and survived. Clearly, you were not subjected to the peak of these emissions because you most certainly would have been killed. However, it does appear that you are able to survive emission levels that are lethal in others. That is the general outline of what took place. It's true some of your abilities, such as motor skills, reaction and endurance, improve rapidly after the emission. It seems that the emission supplied your body with energy. Conversely, this brief period of strength is followed by a sharp decline in your well-being, the effects of which you are currently experiencing. Finally, I'm going to tell you something you already know. The emissions are destroying your nervous system. If they keep reoccurring, you will die, or what's worse, lose your intelligence and your very self. Regrettably, no. The best I can do for you is to reduce the negative impact of emissions on your body. I am currently concluding a series of tests, and after Lebedev confirms the results, I will be in a position to carry out the necessary procedures. However, I would like to stress once again the fact that this is not a panacea. It will not solve the problem. All you are getting now is a little more time until the point when your nervous system begins to break down. Alas, that is all. The only other thing I can do for you is answer any questions you may have. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil. Others, a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be, or indeed are, completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. Hello there. 
Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, as long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. And think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, the best bet is to try to buy it off them. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best thing is pass this place by. I have had a unique item in my store for ages. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last your lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there, Ben. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I've told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. Не за кабаром в лес пораться. Тут и конкуренции меньше, цель есть. Вот только может и самое правильное. Faults in hardware, not in its owner's arms. What's up? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway, and there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right, a goddamn fridge! Ha! <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Yeah, there ain't much to get excited about around here. Not like the garbage. 
I had a dug up old Soviet caches. After the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, they sent convoys there with contaminated vehicles and equipment and all sorts of other crap. They thought it was all waste because it was radioactive. That was then. Nowadays, nobody would even call that radiation. So there's a real gold rush going on there. Stalkers are flocking over there from all over the zone to dig for loot. It's a pity not much of a trooper stood on here. Unless Lebedev sent the boys to pick up specific components. Nothing special. I repair and upgrade weapons and suits. Basically, I do whatever needs getting done. You need something fixed. I'm your man. If I could get a few spare parts, I would make the guy some real nice toys. Weapons, armor, equipment, I take them all to a whole new level. Remember, if you bump into something useful, bring it here and I'll do it all real nice. That's a promise. Good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. What's up? Well, good luck. What's up? You get anything else to fix? Come to me for help. Upgraded or a up. Remember to be a good shooter. Get your gun talking at the right time. Возвращается опытный сталкер к своему трюку. Тут раз, рядом контролер. Сталкер ему, а что у него отсюда показал? Контролер обиделся. Ну, ты сгурел, что ли? Нужна мне твоя развалюха, что ли? А сталкер свое отметил. Удали. Угнать, скажем, не угонит. А вот нацарапать какую-то похотень с тебя станет. Вот такое, знаешь кто? Очень нет, Стокер. Find one of the guys at the fishing hamlet. Mark, it 
looks like you're at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your Damn PBA. You. We you should find the location you. of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. We can't hold on much longer. Hardy, help us! anymore.
position in the swamps enough to give the Renegades a real good kicking. Our next objective is their main base. Sucker food.
сволочь! Tight where you are. Speed up.
Не мантражуй, пацаны. Обходим. Ну, подорвали, пацаны. Заходи, сбоку заходи. Ну, подорвали, пацаны. Anymore. Кран, ты тебе! С дороги! Слушай, скотина! What is it that you need?
visit it. I'll be right there. Want to trade? Have a safe trip. I repair faults in hardware. What's up? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway. And there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right. A goddamn fridge! Ha! <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Well, good luck! What's up? Remember, to be a good shooter, get your gun talking right now. Stalker him off. Пошел вон отсюда, пока сел. You have my full attention.
пацаны! Обходим! Ну, подорвали,
troops are now under our control. Good job, boys. You did it. All squads, dig in and keep positions and wait for further instructions. Come by our base when you get a minute. We'll return the favor. Stalker, what do you want? Home sweet home. Go ahead and take your blindfold off. You'll find me here when you're ready to go back to the swamps. You're with us again? Glad to see you. Want to trade? Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. Again, glad to see you. Want to trade? 
Have a safe trip. I'll repair faults in Harvard's app. Remember, to be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. What the hell is that? Stays, значит, бывалый сталкер у перепёстка. Не указатель читает. Направо аномалии и чуток кабара. Вперед, монстров немерено и средний кабара. Налево кабаки, детки и кабара, детки и ежи. Ну, он подумал, подумал, и берет минус. Думает, что-то я про это слыхал, да забыл, блин. Надо будет на баре у мужиков спросить, что за фигня такая стрёмная. Кабаки и детки. Да ты даешь! А по нове ничего нет. Больше, чем у нас на болотах. Так что я, пожалуй, тут пока останусь. Класс! What you need, stalker? You have my full attention.
кусок бы мяса такой здоровый, чтобы прям свертело. Скворчащий, сочный. seen anyone come from the swamps in a long while. You've come out right next to the army outpost. There's only one thing a stalker can expect from the army, and that's a bullet. So I'd be careful if I were you. Nice to see you. So, shall we talk business? Hello, Merc. Tell me, what brings you here? Hmm, I see so many stalkers in here, it's a pain to remember them all. Any reason I should strain my brain for you? Now we're talking business. I like that. Well, here's the thing. I've been here for a while. My business is up and running, I get different orders here and there, and people trust me. I have a problem with my last order, and the trouble is the client is very important, and the loot he's after is unique. Everything was going fine. Stalkers would get the loot from inside the zone, and the army boys were supposed to ensure they could get it through the cordon. Well, the two parties started bickering over something, and now the whole place has gone crazy. 
The result is the stalkers are fighting the military and nobody's got a clue where the loot is. And that doesn't suit me at all, because the order needs to be completed. So, help me get the case with the loot and I'll tell you all about your stalker and his components. Deal? Visit the stalkers by the embankment. They've set up some sort of base there, and that's where they're holding the captive military commander, Kalitsky. I don't care what you do at that base. I don't care if those fruitcakes want to continue playing Robin Hood's Merry Men. All I want is that case and the loot that's inside it. For starters, try talking to Valerian, the stalker leader. I'll let them know you're coming on my behalf. Hello, anyone home? Hey, Merc, I'm still waiting on that case. I suggest you keep that in mind. Don't just stand there, eh? Tell me what you got for me. Bring me that case as soon as you find it. I'm listening. Got something to say? Say it. I'm listening. If you got something to say, say it.
Nice to see. Hello, Mark. Tell me, what brings... Hmm, I see. Now we're talking. Visit the store. Hey, Mark, I'm still waiting on that cake. Bring me that case as soon as you find it. I'm listening. be over yet. All right, people, that's enough.
got something to say, say it. I'm listening.
just stand there twiddling your thumbs. Go to the base! I'm all ears. So tell me, what's up? Man, we've been waiting for you a long time. Go see the leader, Stat. Come on, spill the beans. I'm listening. Howdy, Merc. We don't see too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander too? All right, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he is the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. Tell me, what's up? If you got something to say, say it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Got something that needs fixing? If you find some more upgrade parts, get them over here and we'll see what we can do. Do you want to upgrade something or patch it up?
Got something to sell? Come back later, I might get a new shipment. Kalatsky's in a cage. Laugh all you want. If you're here to find out where I hid the keys with the loot, you're in for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And it's for your ringleader. We will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. Really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your services? Uh, what if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in Bay? Get lost and stay lost, Merc. So, did you learn anything useful? Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals, so they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Help us destroy them. I'm all ears. Hey, where are you? We're waiting. Hey, buddy, do you remember us? Ghost stalkers, take us down.
military squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second squad at the depot. Merc, head on over there. And that's that! enough.
something to say, say it. What can I do you for? Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for.
What can I do for you? If you need anything else, come back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come back later, I might get a new shipment. Got something to sell? Got something that needs... Sorry if uh, I wasn't much help. Got something that needs fixing? <laughs> what can I do for you? See what being stubborn gets you? Your friends are dead and you're still here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hit the case. Okay, I tell you, bastard. It's in the tunnel, the upturned car. Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich. He's waiting. Oh, I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to have a bath. 
Stop waving that gun. You got my attention. So you got it after all. Come on, tell me what you got for me. Thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back real soon. 
Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap, but I'm not an expert in that sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, I'm your man. If you need anything else, you're always welcome here. I'm extending you a lifetime store discount for helping me deal with the military. Don't just stand there, eh? 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 Hello, anyone home? Good luck. Don't be a jerk. Holster your weapon.
I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice doing business with an honest stalker. What can I do you for? Come back later, I might get a new shipment. Got something that needs fixing? If you need anything else, come by. Got something to sell? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm all ears.
has gotten completely out of line. They even had the nerve to put bandits on our trail. We've decided to fight back. Sign me up then. I have my own score to settle with them. I'll be over there tomorrow, and I'll bring three more guys with me. Great, thanks a lot. See you then. to say, say it. I'm listening. 